What's up, Terabytes? I'm Tara with Tara Simon Studios, and today, in case I didn't give it away already, I'm gonna be reacting to Julia Michaels and JP Sachs singing their song, If the World Was Ending. And this is the actual in-home acoustic version. It's live, I'm super excited. The only other option was the music video, which had a ton more views, but this is live. So I'm going with this instead. Hope you don't mind. Here we go. Let's do it. Hi, I'm JP Sachs. And I'm Julia Michaels. This is our song, If the World Was Ending. We wrote it on July 20th. We sure did. We had been trying to get together to, to write and um, it had been like a month or two. And then we finally got together and he had this idea. He said, you know, I, I was saving this for you. Aww. I was saving it for you. Yeah, Aww. he said, you know, I have this idea. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? Yeah, I guess like, fact check, 10, 11, eight months later, <laughs> eight months later, I came over. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, wow. Which is where we are right now. Interesting. Exactly. Singing to you from our quarantine. From from my backyard. Interesting. So, wow. here it goes. Here goes it. I was distracted and in traffic. I didn't feel it when the earthquake happened, but it really got me thinking. Love that conversation. Were you out drinking? Were you in the living room chilling, watching television? It's been a year now. I think I figured out how how to let you go and let come. Down. I know, so, you know, we know you were down for forever. Great pre chorus, so good. I know, you know, we know we weren't meant for each other, and it's fine. But if the world was ending, you'd come over, right? You'd come over and you'd stay the night. Gosh, his voice. Would you love me for the hell of it? All oh, fears would always. be relevant. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? The sky'd be falling and I'd hold you tight. Mm. And there wouldn't be a reason why. I love his voice. It's so vulnerable and innocent and intimate. Makes you want to snuggle. Makes you want to snuggle. Right. Right. You would, right? If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? I mean, the world's ending. Right. Try to imagine Ooh, love that little crack in there. Action. It didn't scare me when the earthquake happened, but it really got but me really thinking. Good and switch. I went drinking, stumbled in the house and didn't make it past the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, it's been a year now. Think I feel really like I have to think Utilizing about breath. you without it ripping style. my heart out. And I know, mm. you know, we know you went down. Forever Using the D as like a trampoline. Down. I know, you know, we know we weren't meant for each other, and it's fine. Yes. But, but if, if the world, world was ended, you come over. I right? love that. You come over and you stay the night. I would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant. If the world was ending, you come over. Right? She got be falling while I hold you tight mm. And there wouldn't be a reason why We would even have to say goodbye Okay, so I was just talking to a student the other day about how emotion of a song and the, the way that you make someone else feel is actually more important than the way you sound and how we as singers can sometimes really get stuck in the weeds about okay, here I go, I'm singing, I need to sound perfect, I need to sound amazing, and ah, and it's like so oversung or so overdone. Even I'm guilty of that. You can get stuck in the weeds in your own head, guys, the vocal weeds, right? So I love how in this, in this piece right here, this live piece, that really the tone and the sound is not coming from a place of necessarily um, necessarily intentional phonation. It's coming from a place of truth within and however that sounds audibly for their voice is just the way it is. And I, and I love the way it is. I love the way it's sounding, but I love where it's coming from even more. It's just so intimate. It's so real. It's so raw and honest and casual. And it makes me want to just sit there 
by that fire and toast a little marshmallow and snuggle with someone. Just like, you love me. You know, I, I want that. It makes me want that, you know? Um, and that is what music is all about. That's all, that's what it is. It's about you as the catalyst being that thing that makes that person that's listening feel something or want to be something different or want to change something or want to just revel in something. We are the catalysts and and we're not the it though. We're the thing that, that makes the it. And I think that that's, it's a selfless and humble and beautiful place to be as an artist rather than the selfish like, the, the selfishness that, and the narcissism that we can all get into with like, okay, I got to show them what I've got. You know, I've got a point to prove I'm the best. Like, let me, let me just show you. Yeah. That's all the vocal acrobats and all that stuff. It's beautiful. And showing what you've got is great. Yeah. We all want to be seen and heard, but I love, I just love me some of this right here. You feel me? Are you feeling me? Comment in the box below. If you feel me on this, like I just, I'm feeling this. Here we go. If the world was ending, you come over right. Mm. You come over right. You come right. over, you come over, you come over right. Because it's insecurity. You'd come over right like you would, right? Yeah? And I know you know. Hope you would. You were down for five down, and it's that was fine. perfect. I know you know. We know we were bad for each other and it's fine. Candela. But if the world was ended, you come over right. You come over and you stay the night. Would you love me for the hell of it? All our fears would be irrelevant. If the world was ending, you come over. I love that rhyming pattern too. Hell of it, relevant. while I hold you tight. Nice. And there wouldn't be a reason why. We would even have to say goodbye if the world was ending. You Just come ends over on the right. right. You, you come, come over, you come over, you come over right. If the world was ending, you come over right. Yeah. He, oh, he truly does. You can see it in his face. Yeah, I do. I'm wounded by how much I love you. I'm wounded by how much I love them and I love this song. Oh, it's so simple and yet so profound and so vulnerable and just so gushy and ooey and gooey and just bleh, caramel coming out of chocolate. I love it. Give me more. Give me more. Yes. Um, guys, I, I know that this isn't necessarily the most vocally like kind of song. It's not, right? It's, it's very speak singy. But this is so refreshing to me. I just really, really love it. And I think for for us, you know, power singers, these big singers, you know, and I'll, I'll raise my hand and include myself in there. I think it's really important for us to listen to pieces like this and performances like this and really take take it to heart, take something away that, hey, you know, we are still we're sounding boards. We are meant to make someone feel something. That is the purpose of opening up your mouth and getting on a stage or a platform or whatever you're doing. It's to it's for someone else. And that's why we want to do more than just sing in our room. We want to take voice lessons or get better or listen to YouTube tutorials so that we can sing somewhere and be heard by someone and make them feel something, right? And I think that this is right here the essence of that in a perfect perfectly crafted performance and song. Um, and, and if you're wanting to know how do I do that, well, watch this video again. Look at the chemistry that they've got between them. Look at how little they're thinking about their vocals and how much they're thinking about the emotional context of the lyrics. And it helps that they wrote it too, right? You know, if you're a songwriter, I know that you resonate with that. It's easier to emote with your own songs because it's something that came from within, right? It's something that came inside of you and out. But um, for those of you who are new to the vocal journey of making someone else feel something, I'd love to help you with that. And my coaches at TSS would love to help you with that. That's something that we do and, and we work towards with our students every day. It's why at, at the Atlanta branch, we do live showcases three times a year so that our students can have practice in live performances imparting that emotion 
out there so that the audience can feel something and, and learning from that experience and building on top of it. It's what we love to do. So make sure you check out the description box below, click on those links, search around, just peruse, you know, cause they're all there for you. And um, again, make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you haven't, because there's reactions that we do. I'm gonna be, um, doing a, a new kind of deal coming up here soon. I'm not going to say what it is, but make sure you're subscribing and hitting the notifications button so that you see the new things that we're coming up with in this year, especially um, sing better in seconds, tutorials, all that stuff is here for you. Thank you so much for being a part of the terabyte squad and the TSS fam. You guys are the best part of my channel. I say it all the time, but I truly mean it. I wake up feeling blessed and loved by you guys. And I hope that I add value to your life, bring a smile to your face and joy to your day. Speaking of joy, be a blessing to someone today, guys. Love and not hate. Let's let's spread faith and not fear. And with that, guys, I'm going to go drink some coffee. I'll see you in the next one.